Greetings, it's me, Carrie Krista Moonrise. And today's video is going to focus on an herb called calendula, okay? I'm going to show you what calendula looks like, okay? This here is calendula, okay? I'll take some out of this jar so that you can see it up close and personal, okay? Calendula, it's an herb, okay? And you can use calendula in teas, okay? Or however you want to use calendula. But I'm going to read to you a little bit about what calendula is useful for, okay? Calendula, uh, it's one of the herbs of the sun, okay? And it's an herb of purity, okay? It stands for innocence, childlike joy, humility, purity, new beginnings, trusting in life, and vitality. And I will continue to read a little bit about this. Historically, calendula was known as poor man's saffron as it was used to add color and flavor to foods in place of the more expensive spice. Calendula petals are also added to salads and used as a dye for fabric and hair. From infusions to extractions, to ointments, folk medicine, healers in Europe prepared a wide array of healing remedies and foods with calendula. Its petals were used to induce menstrual flow, produce sweat during fevers, and to help uh, remedy jaundice. 19th century physicians used calendula to treat viruses, stomach ulcers, liver issues, and skin infections. Traditionally, because of its astringent and anti-inflammatory powers, <laughs> it was also used externally to treat burns, bruises, and wounds, and to help stop bleeding. Calendula. All right, so here's a little bit more about it. Calendula resembles the sun. A radiant, bright yellow or orange flower. It grows easily and spreads its joyful self across gardens, symbolizing the gesture of universal abundance. Solar herbs are those that neutralize poison and air in the recuperation of vital forces. Calendula's gentle and abundant power reminds us of the realms of light. <laughs> to be allowed entry within these angelic realms requires childlike innocence and humility. Don't allow pain from the past to disable your ability to dream a new life. Calendula represents the pure impulse to create vitality and creativity needed to step into a new journey. The radiance of calendula is a superconductor. Be very aware and selective with your intentions when using her energy within a ritual as she greatly amplifies your intentions. Okay, so calendula. I will show you one more time what it looks like. This is, of course, dried, but calendula, okay? So, I use calendula in tea. So basically what I would do is I take about maybe this much calendula, I put it in a strainer, and I boil it in the water like a tea, or I can put it in a tea bag, but I usually just put it in a strainer, put the strainer in the boiling water and just let it boil, let it uh, boil for a few minutes. And then 
I sift it, not sift, but I strain it into a teacup. Add a little sweetener. My, pref my preference of sweetener is maple syrup. You know, some people may use honey or, uh, you know, whatever your preference is. Um, but just to sweeten it, or you don't have to sweeten it. But um, calendula, it's a really, really, it, it actually tastes pretty good. So if you're interested in getting yourself some calendula, um, check out my shop at LegacyKeely.com. Um, where I may have some calendula or some variety with calendula inside of it. Um, I know I have some different herb packs there at the website. So go to, to the website, do a search for calendula, and hopefully you'll find it there. And if not, I'll make sure I get it in if we're out of stock. So that's it for now. Um, thank you for your time. I am Carrie Crystal Moonrise. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun social stuff. And uh, what else can I tell you? Thank you. All right. And for those of you who have been giving donations and tips, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, that's it. Peace out. Bye.